Hi, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video series, we are going to begin a very demanding technology of nowadays that is React.js. In general, we also call it React. So as the name says, React.js, it is one another platform or framework provided by JavaScript which is used to create the UI of the website. That means if I talk about the full stack development, this React.js will be the part of the UI development as you work with Angular or Vue.js or there are few other technologies. But nowadays, this particular product is very much in demand. So in this particular tutorial, we will learn all the different aspects which will be helping us for creating the UI using the React.js. But make sure before getting started with React, you are familiar with the basics of web development that is the HTML, CSS, JavaScript as it is for the UI. So HTML and CSS will be commonly used for putting the design and for creating a web page. While JavaScript is a scripting library which we are using in the React. That means React is actually using a JavaScript library. So for using that, we should have a knowledge of JavaScript and npm that is a part of node.js that is node package manager so for setting up the environment we will go for this npm so if you are fine with all these three things you are good enough to begin with react.js so let's see what is all there in react and what is all we are going to learn so as i said is a front-end javascript library that means it will work for ui itself developed by Facebook in March 2013. So basically this particular library is created by the Facebook developers which are also in Instagram. So they are the one who has developed and maintaining this React.js. Used for layering view layers for web and mobile applications. Basically here using this React also you can provide some single page application in a different way not exactly as a way of Angular but here you will be finding some layering views alright layering means one before another so this will give you the layout of single page application create single page application as I just said corresponds to view in the MVC pattern Basically, when we work in MVC, there is a controller which provides the data to the view. And here, we will not use the terminologies like controller or model something, but the way we will approach the views or maybe we want to try to send some data to the view, it will be similar to the MVC pattern. And it is licensed under MIT, though it's a bit controversial, but now it is being licensed under Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Now, let's go through some of the features which this React provides. So it's pro it provides virtual DOM. Virtual DOM means document object model that we know. Virtual DOM means when you will be working on the component of React, you will be able to return the HTML. As in the return statement so far in the programming, we used to return a value. But in the React.js or in React, you can return a part of HTML from the component. That is a virtual DOM which can be rendered on a web page. Uses JSX. Though you can also work with a typical JavaScript here, but JavaScript with extensible feature is recommended. When we will start working on the React, we will cover the JSX part as well in deep. Component based. Whenever you will start working on React, first thing which you will create is a component. That component will be responsible for getting the data, for making all the programming operations and returning the virtual DOM, the uh, HTML template to the view. So this is why this is component based because each and every task which we will perform here will be component based. Cross platform. You can work with React.js in any platform, whether you are a Mac user, Windows user or Linux user. 
since here we will be working in windows so i will show you the environment setup for windows only but in the similar way you can perform the things with the other operating systems as well and it provides one way data flow means whenever you will be working on the uh, react component will be sending the data through the view so that will be the one way data flow though using some tactics you can make it two way also but generally we will go for the one way data flow itself so these are some basic features of react i'm sure you would be having some idea now about the react js in the one next video we will start doing some environment setup and we will then start working practically on react tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning